Hey guys, I'm Bob with Havoc Shooting Solutions. I promised a video about the Law Tactical Folder and I've got it here for you. I'm gonna demo it with my 2018 Harley Davidson Street Glide. As you can see, it's a normal bike, all murdered out the way I like it. Here's where the Law Folder is on my rifle. Okay, so this doesn't have a mount or anything. It's just stuck down into the bag. Uh, this is my Colt upper and my Bravo Company lower. There's the Law Folder on there. Now, what I've learned today shooting this thing on a civilian bike versus a patrol bike is a couple of things. The inside of these bags get ding really easy. You know, so if you're gonna carry one in here, I suggest you get some kind of towel or something to cover it up in. Your call, I don't really like the inside of my bags being beat up too much. And depending on how much gear and accessories, and whatnot you've got on your rifle, you may wanna wrap it up a little bit. I know it hinders the access, but you know, it's, it's all depends on what you want, okay? So, also I started the videos today, I had the folder folded over and this gunfighter stock from Bravo Company uh, extended, no, I'm sorry, I didn't have it extended, it was collapsed in. I extended it out for the later videos. You can see it doesn't really make much of a difference, all right? Um, again, I would cover it with something around the hard points, unless you just wanna get your bags all dinged up. Some people may not care, but most Harley riders or motorcycle riders are very particular about their bikes. So that might make a difference for you. Now, I'm gonna pull it out. As you can see, the stock is collapsed over. All right, this is extended. All right, and there's closed. Now, if you wanna run the butt stock all the way down, that's fine too, and close it up. I've got a few accessories on here that most people aren't gonna have. I've also got a front sight post. Most guys and girls now are gonna be running a flat top. This is my patrol rifle upper, which that's uh, probably company lower. So I stuck it on there just to see the video works wise. And you can see it fits just fine. I'm gonna put it back in the bag. A 20 round mag wouldn't be a bad idea. I just didn't have one with me today. Uh, I'm also running the P mag. I've got one metal mag, but again, the more metal contact with these fiberglass bags, the more damage is gonna happen to them. So inserting the bike, I'm sorry, inserting the rifle into the bike like this with the muzzle facing that way uh, to the rear. You can tell lengthwise it's just gonna work better. All right, again, I've got my handy dandy uh, 2000 Marine Corps towel in there to help cover the, uh, the front end, the muzzle, sorry. Yeah. I don't want it to damage anything, it's gonna scratch anything up. I've got a battle comp on there, uh, the compensators. It's gonna tear the back of that fiberglass bag up. Long rides, you're going a long distance, I would definitely consider wrapping this up, covering it up to keep it from shaking around. Uh, I've shot some of the videos today with the weapon uh, in condition one. You know, most of the time, uh, the police department, we carry our rifles in condition three, which is cruiser ready, which the magazine inserted, bolt forward, no round in the chamber. Your call, it'd probably be best if you carry it condition three to me, but I shot it both ways. Again, it's user preference. So, a nice 20 round mag would work good, uh, help cut down some of the space. You could throw spare mags in here. That'll be fine. I also, if you have it and you want it, you could line the side of the bag with a uh, actual like nylon style bag or you know some high speed gear mag pouches, the tacos, or take some Velcro and line it around the bottom of the mag where it doesn't eat up in the mag well. Take your strip of Velcro, lay it in here, and pop your mags alongside or Velcro in there and have you a spare. That's a good spot for the saddlebags. Now, if you have the touring bike and you want to stick a spare mag in this container, there's another good place to stick your spare mag. So this is the law folder, all put down into a saddlebag. You can see when I close it up. Now I've got the micro dot, the T1 with an old LaRue mount on there. Closed up, you can't even tell it easy to carry, you're going on a long ride, you need to take it with you, you want some extra assurance for your safety or your family safety, wherever you're going, or you just want to go out and shoot and you want to take your bike for the ride, and now you've got an option to do it. The law folder does that. You know, when it comes to the foldability, the reliability of the law folder, it can't be beat. All right, now that I've showed you what the weapon looks like inside the bag and some accessories to go with it and how to cover it, protect it for the long haul, I'm going to deploy it real quick, so let's do that.
stuff over here, release the saddlebag lock, reach in, bring the weapon out, being cautious of the muzzle. I'm gonna grab the stock, fold it around with that law folder, reach up, rack it, and I'm ready to engage. Okay, so that's what it looks like to pull it out of the bag. Of course, if you need to pull it out, find around the bike, find you, uh, you know, position of cover that you have to get into, a forced position of cover, that's fine. I would definitely recommend getting away from the bike because they don't react too well to bullets. All right, so there you go. That is the law folder extended out. As you can tell, I've set it up a little bit farther back. I extended the stock out earlier in today when I was shooting videos. I had the stock all the way in and that's, it's not really comfortable for me because I'm too, I'm too tight like that. So I didn't really think about it, but you can grab the stock, pull it out a little bit, a more comfortable position. I would definitely set that up before I took the bike on the road. All right. So I'm gonna fold it back over. I'm gonna show you again how it looks. I'm gonna reach up, press the button here on the folder, push it in, spin it around. Again, being mindful of the muscle, place it back into the bag.
right, guys, that's the last little video for today on the law folder. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll see you guys next time.